Russian ruble sunk again to a new low now against the US dollar today. The uh, slide comes after oil prices plummeted below $70 a barrel. Artis Murugazdiev joins me now in the studio to discuss where this is going to go next. Can't go any lower, can it? It can. It can, and uh, experts are predicting, analysts are predicting that it will. But uh, Russia, in this case, is trying to make the best of a bad situation. As you know, uh, the ruble and uh, the price of oil very closely tied because, mm. after all, oil is Russia's single greatest uh, export. And of course, so, Russia's been hit on all fronts with the current sanctions as well, so it's, it's coming in every it's direction. It's all adding it? up. It's all adding up, uh, as you say, from every direction. Uh, but in this case, uh, as oil plunges, so does, uh, so does the ruble. And uh, they actually predicted this. They actually predicted that OPEC would do nothing. Mm. Uh, and uh, Russia, after all, does have a huge you know, reserve fund to fall back on. Mm. But uh, in this case, there is a but. The government says, at least in the short term, uh, the, plan the ruble's fall is actually a blessing. Because, uh, and here's an example for you. Because if you, uh, if you were Russian and you were selling something a year ago uh, for $1, mm. you would get 30 rubles for it one year ago. Mm. Now, if you were selling the same thing, you would get 50 because the ruble's value has gone down. So mm -hmm. in the short term, it allows them to meet the budgetary you know, uh, obligations because they're still selling oil. And although oil has gone down in value, yeah. they're still getting the same amount of rubles and for it. And there's been a slight kickback, of course, if you're buying a uh, flights have uh, come down a little bit. Uh, petrol at the pumps. What petrol at the pumps? Sorry, I haven't looked lately. It's not, not, not in the short term because we're still selling yeah, yeah, the, oil, yeah, yeah. You know, the petrol that was bought months ago. So mm. they're going to. But eventually, yeah, it should start going down. Mm. Of course, this tactic, uh, it won't work in the long term. It's just mm. a short fix. But according to Russia's uh, first deputy minister, he says that current oil prices, they aren't going to stay this low for very long. Let's uh, take a listen. We believe that the price of oil will go up. The cold has come and more energy resources will be consumed. All experts predict an increase in consumption of oil and gas. But even if these predictions of higher prices don't follow through, we have a safety net. We have nothing to worry about. The Bank of Russia has allowed the ruble to float freely. It's becoming cheaper, but the budget capacity won't change. And we will meet all the obligations of the federal budget. So a reasonably buoyant mood at the moment. Of course, a lot of countries around the world uh, that rely on oil is their income. They're having a heck of a problem balancing their books if this continues. Well, of course, the global impact has been uh, negative. It's been highly negative. Stock markets around the world are being uh, battered. And mm. OPEC member states, which just a few days ago voted to do nothing, perhaps under pressure from Saudi Arabia, but nevertheless, they voted to do nothing. Their economies are under, they're facing a real crisis because uh, these countries' uh, budgets weren't approved approved and formed with uh, $70 oil in mind. They were approved with $100 oil in mind. So it's very bad. And even in Europe, for example, Norway, uh, its currency has lost almost a fifth of its value this year alone against the dollar. So uh, the situation is very bad there. Neighboring Denmark, for example, they're ringing alarm bells about the budget because, again, they're uh, very reliant on the price of oil. It's been negative all around. In America, some fracking companies have lost 70% of their value in the last three months, which is, which is you know, bad it's considering... It's not cost-effective to produce the stuff. Exactly, mm. exactly. And while, you know, production costs, how much it costs to get one barrel of oil out of the ground and to the consumer, it varies. Uh, fracking, for fracking companies, it's generally a lot more expensive. Mm. So a lot of them, if current prices uh, stay as they are or go even lower, a lot of them are going to start going bust, which... If you listen to some people, some experts, which is what OPEC was after all along, to, right. you know, to squeeze out the frackers and to re-establish its de facto monopoly over the conventional mm -hmm. oil market. Mm -hmm. OK, Marat, a lot in the play there, isn't there? A lot in the, in the, in the pot. Thanks for, uh, uh, bringing, for bringing us up to speed there.